If we take a look at the storage controllers tab, you can see that I have two NetApp storage controllers added to my virtual center. We'll move back over to the inventory screen. To provision a data store, you'll right click on the container or ESX host. If I right click on a container, such as a data center, and choose provision NetApp data stores, the data stores that are provisioned will be attached to all of the ESX servers. Before we provision any data stores, let's take a look at the ESX server. You can see that I already have some data stores mounted here, but what I wanted to point out was that we don't have iSCSI configured yet on this ESX server, nor do we have it configured on this one. So to provision a data store across this cluster, I'll choose Provision NetApp Data Stores on the right-click action for that cluster, and that'll start the wizard. First choice I have is which controller I want to create the data stores on. And the NetApp controllers are truly multi-protocol devices, so they can serve NFS, iSCSI, Fiber Channel, as well as a host of other protocols. Uh, in this case, we're going to choose VMFS. For this demonstration, I'm going to add an iSCSI-based VMFS data store at about 5 gig. The name that I'll give the data store will be Quick Demo. And this drop-down provides a list of volumes that I can put my new LUN in. I also have the ability to thin provision my LUN. Hit apply here after checking out the summary and we'll see some new tasks start at the bottom. So the master task is NetApp data store allocation and because I chose an iSCSI LUN and neither ESX hosts had iSCSI enabled or configured, the Rapid Cloning Utility will go through and enable and configure iSCSI for access to this controller, then create a LUN and present it to these ESX servers for use as a data store. And there we have it. Quick demo at 5 gig. On both of the ESX servers within my cluster. If we scroll down a bit, we can see that the new task is complete.